Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys five, oh, can't even see my hand, that's four, plus a thumb, five tips on uh, Jelly Bean. So any any phone running Jelly Bean 4.1.2 or 4.2.2 I think it is, any of those phones, I'm going to show you guys some tips in your settings, things you may not have known, uh, known were there, and how to use them. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to disable apps. Since apps that are stock apps cannot be uninstalled, in Jelly Bean you can disable them. So let's go into settings right here. And we're going to go to apps. And this is actually on my Droid Racer HD. So this is downloaded apps. I don't want that. We're going to go to all apps. And we're gonna scroll to let's see if I can give you some give you an idea how this works. One of these Verizon applications I don't like. So right here, Verizon Tones. If you click on it, it has updates on it. So if you do up uninstall, it only uninstalls the updates because this is a stock system application. Um, yes, so we're just gonna go back to the factory version of Veri Verizon Tones and hit OK. Now, if you go to it, you will see an option right here, disable. Um, so why that is so nice is now, we're just, we'll come back to it here. If you go into your app drawer, you have Verizon Tones, and it can be running in the background, and it can be doing a lot of things you maybe don't want. So if we go back into our settings right here, then we can just go ahead and hit disable and it gives you this warning that if you disable a built-in app other apps may misbehave now I know Verizon Tones is not going to cause any problems it's just going to disable the application so we're going to go ahead and hit OK and now it goes to where you can enable it but now if we go to our app drawer show you guys this we go into app drawer Verizon Tones is gone so in essence, you disabled it. Um, you deleted it almost. This is like using Titan backups and freezing an application, but it's built into Android. You don't have to have root access. You don't have to have nothing. You just go in and you disable the applications you don't want on your phone. Now they're still there, and if you did some kind of an update, you would still have them. First tip, that was it. Um, just realized this recently myself. Didn't realize it's in there, but very good for disabling applications. On the same note, let's go ahead and go into settings and we're going to go to apps again and I'm going to show you guys, let's go to, yeah let's go to here, so all applications, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of applications per app, or I'm sorry not applications, you're going to get rid of notifications per app. So right here Gmail and you can see I have a Gmail notification in the top right there. So right here it says show notifications. You click that and hit OK. It won't show notifications for Gmail. And you can do that for any application. So if you're sick of seeing the notifications for an application up on top, you can disable notifications per app through this uh, menu right here by clicking on apps. So that is number two. Let's go ahead and show you guys the third tip, and that has to do with input languages. So, this is what I've learned in input languages, is you can actually go into here, and you can change things like predictive texting, autocorrect, and some advanced settings, um, pop-up keys, and just some good information in here, auto capitalization. So if it's auto-correcting things wrong, you can adjust those settings right here in this under keyboards. And then lastly, if you're using Google Voice typing, this is for those of you who maybe want to swear in their text messages. It says block offensive words. It comes checked automatically, uncheck that, and you can swear all you like. So, And it will actually put down what you're swearing instead of making up a word like duck or something like that, let's just say. So if you want that, that is right there.
Um, next, I'm going to show you guys two things in settings. And one is under display. And this is your sleep time. So if you leave your phone sitting there, it'll go to sleep and turn the screen black after one minute. And you can change that from 15 seconds to 10 minutes on whatever you prefer. And on the same note, we're going to go to security. And this is how soon automatically lock. So after it goes to sleep after that minute, in 30 seconds after that, it will lock and you'll have to redo your password. Um, or if you turn the power off, hit the power button to turn the screen off, 30 seconds after that, you'll have to redo the password. But if you don't want to do, redo your password constantly, you can go to 30 minutes and it won't lock your phone for 30 minutes. So that's a good setting to know where that is at and that's under security and automatic lock right there. And then my last thing I want to show you guys that you may not know is Easter egg. Every um, Android version has its own Easter egg and it can be found in About Phone and then you just tap on the Android version a whole bunch of times until you see it. And this is the Easter egg for Jelly Bean. It says Jelly Bean and it said the Android version right down there and shows you a little Jelly Bean guy. Now this guy has a hat on but it's just because of my wallpaper so we'll make him go away. And then you have all these Jelly Beans, my wallpaper in the background and you can kind of flick them away and do whatever. Like I said, try this on any Android version and it will show you the easter egg for that android version like ice cream sandwich or android or honeycomb any of them you go to about and it will do this by tapping on the android version so that is it that is my five uh, tips for jelly bean things you may not have known hope you like this hope it was informative for you uh, please check me out at root junkie up here rootjunkie.com lots of great information on there you can follow me on facebook or twitter and we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching